people with an actuarial background, they're generally working at the Reserve Bank. They've generally done actuarial studies and some economics or finance uh, as well. Um, so that it's not necessary, I mean, in our finance area, they'll be able to directly apply actuarial skills. Uh, but it's more, as I said, bringing that framework for thinking to issues where it's relevant. So longevity risk clearly bears directly on the super system. There's the question of what sort of products does the super system need given the increase in longevity. For asset-backed securities to be repo eligible with us, those securities have to provide us with loan level data. So that provides us with a very large database of mortgage-backed securities. And, and they'll up, be updating that on a sort of monthly or quarterly basis. So going forward, we have a very long time series on that and a couple of the people in my area who did actually have an actuarial background were some of the ones who were very key in determining A, what the information we were after was and B, how we're actually going to utilise it uh, in terms of the sort of analytics that we're likely to do.